We're back on this Lexus. Just replaced the condenser. Now, if I released the video earlier on this one, I did the recovery. And I recovered the refrigerant down to 800 microns with the recovery machine. And I wanted to show you how fast a clean, dry system could get down when it was dry and not left open to the atmosphere. And we're gonna only recover through one hose, I think, at first. Are we gonna do one hose or two hose? I'll do two hose. Let's make it fast. Um, high side, low side, we're on. We're open on the low side. I gotta make sure we're low, open before I turn on the vacuum. We're at zero and zero. Open on the high side. We're closed on the refrigerant. Ooh, better close that refrigerant. It'll give me a false number or make my numbers higher. Especially if I left, yep, I left that loose. That would have messed up my test. So I'm data logging over there. You can see that's a straight zero line over there. The vacuum is closed. Let's go over to microns. Okay, you can see we're in pressure. We're at right at the zero level, straight across. We're going in, we're heading towards minute number four. So I'm gonna take it over to microns and microns will not show up until we get into the micron range. So basically it'll be zero. When we see this go down into the micron range, we'll see that hook up over there and start turning out. But let's see how fast this goes. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. We are now going in the vacuum. And you see we're at negative 26 right now, negative 28, negative 29. And will the micron, let's see if we can keep the, oh, there it goes. The micron thing just went into account right now. So there's the microns. It's now gonna do something. You see how fast that is. We're already at 1200, 1400. And you can see it dropping fast. This, now you've seen in some of my videos where it stagnated at 2000 microns. It would not go below or 1700 or 1400, 1000. And just stay there for 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 30. That's what happens when somebody leaves a line open to the atmosphere or even worse yet when an idiot goes and puts shop compressed air into the system because it totally saturates the oil with moisture and it does not come out with vacuum and uh there we go we're under 500 microns and we're not even one minute yet once we hit the micron range we're like one minute once we start that's it this is what a clean dry system unadulterated, not molested by some idiot who uses shop compressed air or leaves lines open for weeks at a time while they're working on it and ordering parts. That is the difference between a clean, dry system, brand new desiccant, and somebody who just freaking abolishes like a freaking, I don't know what to say, give it a Billy Bob butt crack. All right, I'll see you guys later. You can see this is going down and uh, catch you later. Oh, actually, and what I'm gonna do too is one of the Facebook uh, group subscribers from Automotive HVAC Tech just asked me, what about us who don't know how to do it the other way on the recharge? So this is a dead car, I can't start it. Too many things are disconnected. It was a big front end accident. My air, um, ambient air temperature sensor, the harness was ripped out, so I can't even start this. So I'm gonna recharge this vehicle with only one hose. I'm gonna have a high side hose going directly from the tank, directly into the high side, and that's it. No gauges, no temperature sensors, and I'm gonna fill it 100% up within 30 seconds and finished. No testing or nothing, done deal. See you guys on the next video. Down to uh, 214, 15, uh, 249, bouncing around there. There we go.